Listen, getting told that you smell good or that, oh my God, what is that? There's a certain feeling you get when people tell you that and I can't explain it. It's just something you have to experience like... Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. My name is Jessica and here on my channel I talk about hair, fragrances, and I do random DIYs. If you like any of my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's get into today's it. So video. I'm gonna be talking about the most affordable fragrances in my collection that I actually wear. And uh, some of them I haven't heard anybody talk about. Some of them people do talk about. I feel if you're starting out, you wanna build your collection, you're not sure what to start with, or rather you're trying not to break the bank, but you still wanna smell like, I don't know how to describe it. You still wanna smell good, you still wanna smell expensive. I got and you. the perfumes that I've picked out for today, you have the ones that will make you feel sensual, the ones that will make you feel sexy, the ones that will make you feel rich. All the fragrances that I'm gonna talk about today, I feel like most of them are not more than $50. And even if it is over $50, it's like only a little bit over $50. Or I feel like I paid under $50 for them. And if it's not $50, it's a little bit off. I try to find the price, but the thing is, I use different coupons on a shop sometimes, so my, the prices today might not be the prices tomorrow. But basically, it's gonna be around. Whatever price I say, so let's say I say something's like 20 something dollars, the fragrance is gonna be around 20 something to 30 something. If I say 30 something, it's gonna be 30 something to 40 something. So, anyhow, I hope I haven't confused you. And if you like to see the fragrances that I pick out as my most affordable, uh, keep on watching. So the first fragrance that I'll be talking about, in no particular order though, is the Rim Accra. Those of you who have watched my channel for a while know I discovered this, I think earlier this year or last year, I can't remember when I discovered it. I think I got this fragrance for about $20 off of Fragrance Net. It's the Rim Accra and guys, when I tell you that this perfume, what it gives me is just like a white amber floral fragrance. Um, this, ooh, I think the opening, it opens up with like orange blossom, bergamot, I can't even remember, but to me, I feel, I didn't see oud on here. Like when I look at the notes of this fragrance, it doesn't say oud, but it gives me like oud, but like the, the softest version of oud. I don't know if that's a way for me to say it. If you ever want to just feel happy, you want to feel good, this is a really good fragrance. It's sweet. Oh yeah, it's sweet, you get that orange blossom. I get oud, I don't know why, but I get oud from this fragrance. I keep on saying it that this reminds me of like, you know, like the Arabian princesses and all of that. That very oriental, like Middle Eastern vibe, that's what this gives me. And this was only $19, I think it was only $20. And guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Longevity, I think it's about six to seven hours. It projects well. I have gotten compliments off of this perfume. I just think it's just a very beautiful, beautiful perfume. I, I love it. So if you're into oriental, you're into floral, and if I, I wanna say if you're into oud, this isn't like oud, oud, but like if you wanna just like, if you don't like oud, but you like floral oriental fragrances, I feel like this is a great one for you. I don't know how to describe it. This just gives me like luxurious vibe. I don't know, that's what this gives me. This gives me princess vibes. So, um, yeah, that's the Rim Accra. So the next okay. fragrance I'm gonna be talking about is this beauty right here. Uh, I've also talked about this before in a couple of my previous videos. It's Wild Fox. And I think this fragrance, I got it for probably, about, I got the smaller bottle, the 1.7, and I think it was about 30 something. No, I think the bigger size is 30 something dollars. So I got this for either like maybe 31 or like the 29 or something, I can't remember. But it was less than, less definitely less than 50. And this is a very sweet, sensual fragrance. This is also gonna be a happy scent for me. If you ever wanna just feel like, if you ever wanna just smell delicious and just, this this fragrance is sweet. Like it has honeysuckle, it has honey, it has, um. I think it has jasmine, I can't remember the notes. I, and I don't have notes on here and I don't want to talk too much about notes. It's an amber floral as well, but it's very, it's such a delightful set. I feel like this is perfect for date night. This is perfect, oof, this is perfect for every day. 
this fragrance is just amazing. I love it. The opening is gorgeous. The dry down, the dry down of this fragrance is just, I can't describe it, but I absolutely love it. I feel like, and this is very underrated. I have not seen anybody talk about this fragrance before at Wild Fox. I have not seen anybody talk about it. Um, I randomly discovered it while I was searching for another fragrance and then I read the notes on this and I was like maybe I should give this a try and it was the safest blind buy ever like I absolutely love this fragrance I just got it recently and I have put in a little bit of a dent to it I don't know if you guys see it's very versatile I feel like you can wear this every day you can wear this date night you can wear this to work even I just feel like this is a very pretty versatile gorgeous gorgeous floral scent. So the next fragrance I will be talking about is the Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. This one I got as a tester and I got it off of Fragrance Net. Um, so it came with like a little plastic cap instead of the actual cap which I tossed because I really didn't care for it. But this is also another affordable scent. This one I think I paid maybe 40 something to 50 something dollars for. I can't remember. Uh, the prices are always different online, depending on where you buy it from. But this fragrance is very sweet. It's like woody, It's to me it's like a warm, spicy scent. It's described as a sweet, fruity scent. I think it's very sharp. It's sweet, but it's not like sweet like the other fragrances. I feel like this one is very sharp, it's woody. You have that animalic note in here. You get the patchouli. It's, it's just a really, it's, I like this fragrance. I feel like this fragrance is really great for work. I wouldn't spray too much of it though. Like I wouldn't go ham with this one. It's very sharp. So I feel like if you spray a lot of this, you will choke yourself. You will have a headache and you're probably going to suffocate the other people around you. You don't need too much of this. A little bit of this goes a long way. Projection is awesome. I have gotten compliments on this. I will not lie. Not a lot of compliments, but I've gotten compliments. Longevity, I don't think the longevity is that great. I mean, I smell it on my clothes. On my skin though, I smell it for a few hours, but then after a while, I just forget, honestly, about it. But it's still a really, really good fragrance. The next fragrance that I have is also a sweet, fruity fragrance. This one I feel is the most affordable. This is the cheapest I ever spent on perfume. Uh, it is the 1.7 ounce though. Still, it was only $8. This is the Mix Bar by, uh, well this is, <laughs> I said Mix Bar. This is the Blackberry Tonic by Mix Bar. I love wearing, this is one of the scents that I love wearing to go to bed. It's a very sweet, fruity fragrance. I feel like this fragrance is very playful. I love how it smells. I would wear this to just like, you know, hang out. Not, not a serious hangout. This is a hangout where I don't even have makeup on. I'm literally just like chilling. Like we just really run out to like grab something really quickly. It gives me like this really, really like youthful, playful vibe. But I do enjoy the smell when I go to bed. I enjoy how it smells when I go to bed. You get a little bit of musk from it. For $8, longevity, I mean, I don't smell it the next day. The next day, do I smell it? Not really, but I do smell it while I'm falling asleep. Like I smell it after I take the shower and I put it on me and I smell it on my sheets and my clothes. Um, but like I said, I don't wear it out for me to actually test how long it lasts on me outside. I feel I can wear it to go out. I haven't worn it to go out. I've actually only spray this on my bed and to sleep. So the next scent I'm gonna be talking about is actually very, very popular. I feel like everybody knows this fragrance. I knew about it through one of my uh, subscribers. This is a great uh, blind buy, and it's also a great affordable perfume. I think it's probably, and this was the big size, the 3.4 ounce, and I think this one was maybe 50 something. I can't remember, but this oh, uh, this is another fragrance that I actually also wear to bed. I mean, I wear this one to go out as well, but I wear this, I enjoy this to bed. The lavender in there, the vanilla, oof. This is a sweet gourmand fragrance, like they say. Uh, it's very, very sweet. I absolutely love how this fragrance, mm, 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 mm. Ah, it's just, you will appreciate this scent. If, if you're looking for an affordable fragrance, and they say that this is 
a great deep for a uh, baccarat rouge. It's sweet, it's lavender, it's vanilla, it's powder, but I don't really get the powder as much. It's in that dry down that you can pick up on that powder. I just feel it's a very comforting set. I really, really love this scent. So the next scent that I'm gonna be talking about is the Leventer Femme by Aharame. This scent, first of all, the present, okay, I'm back. First of all, the box that this came in, like the whole packaging was just like, I think I have a picture of me opening the box on my Instagram for those of you follow me on Instagram. I love this fragrance. I wore this to um, an event one time and the comments I got, were nice from both guys and girls. I remember I stood up from a chair and somebody had said, oh my God, Jess, what are you wearing? That smells so good. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Listen, getting told that you smell good or that, oh my God, what is that? There's a certain feeling you get when people tell you that and I can't explain it. It's just something you have to experience. Like, you just have to experience it. And if no one has told you, you smell good. The opening of this fragrance, some people might not like it because it's quite deep. It's, 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 it's not, will I say it's sharp? It's not sharp. I don't know how to describe the opening of this fragrance. It's the dry down that there's that magic. I like the opening. I don't mind the opening. Even though it's like sharp and like strong, this is, it's a very strong fragrance. This fragrance, let me just say, it's very, very strong. Projection is ridiculous and it lasts this fragrance lasts a really really long time and it just smells beautiful just that initial burst just the initial burst is really strong but once it settles literally within the first couple minutes it just smells amazing it smells so good this fragrance smells like luxury it smells like money and i feel like i only got it for 40 something dollars this fragrance guys please don't sleep on it like this house they're known for having really really nice fragrances but this La Venter Femme I haven't seen anybody talk about it and they have like the really big bottle too I only got the little one and it's not even little because I think this was a three point something ounce bottle um so it's not little this was a three point something ounce I think they have the six ounce and that one is sixty something dollars guys do not sleep on this fragrance this fragrance is just Ooh, La Venta Femme, this is money talking. This is like oil money. Oil money vibes is what this is giving me. <laughs> oil money vibes is what this, you, you, you need a hoi, a hoi. That's what this is giving me. This right here, mm, it is perfect for nighttime, guys. This fragrance, if you want to go to an event and you want to kill them, like you dress nice, whatever outfit that you wear, this fragrance, I feel, takes it to another level. And this is just to me. I feel like this fragrance will take you to like, you know, another level. So the next fragrance I have that I feel is, not even I feel, that's extremely affordable, is the Sofia Vegara Sofia. Guys, this fragrance was literally $19.99. And this is just a very, ooh, this is a very, this is fruity. This gives me fruit. This gives me floral. This gives me sweet. This gives me sensual. Like if you want, this one is for like that, oof, that sexy. This is date night right here. This is date night. This is intimate vibes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else. I actually got this from Burlington uh, Co Factory. I just happened to be walking by and I was like, oh wait, I wanted to order this online. Projection is great. I have gotten compliments off of it. Projection is really, really good on this perfume. At least for like the first couple of hours when you spray it and then afterwards it dries down to like a skin scent. But it's a very pretty, pretty scent. This, ooh, if you want to feel like a woman, very feminine, that's this fragrance. It's very sweet. I definitely recommend this for a date night and for like intimate settings. I feel like this is great to snuggle and just get close and everything. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really good scent. So the um, next fragrance I have, guys, this one was also a random blind buy. It's the Lanvin Arpege or Arpege by the House of Lanvin. This fragrance, I randomly uh, found it once again while I was looking for a different fragrance. Let me just say this. A friend of mine has already purchased this fragrance because of me. This is a fragrance where projection is insane. It lasts me a long time. It's one of those fragrances where I feel like 
even when you stop smelling it, other people can smell it. Went to my friend's house in the morning and she texted me at nighttime asking me what that fragrance was because she could still smell it on her couch. That That is ridiculous. That I was like, that is hours, hours after. Like I was at that point, I, I mean, I could still smell it. Like when I raised my hand to smell it, I could smell it. But I, I didn't even like smell it like that. But she was like, oh my, she bought it. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, Jessica, what is that fragrance? Like it smells so good. And she could still smell it on her couch. This fragrance, when it comes to longevity on clothes, is a beast. It's, it, <clears throat> It's really, really good. It smells absolutely divine. That's how I can describe this fragrance. It smells divine. I will warn you though, <laughs> don't play with this fragrance. For me and the people that I know that have tried this fragrance, you can't do more than one, two, three. Like literally, I'm not even spraying it. But you cannot spray more than one, two, and I would not spray in the front. I'll probably spray like maybe at the back of my neck or like further down on my shirt. I don't know, but I would not, this fragrance, I would not, ex except you can take it. Well, I would not advise you to spray. Do not spray it up here. <laughs> Listen, it will choke you, eat choke. <laughs> this fragrance, will choke you. You cannot over spray this bad boy. Who or a bad girl. I don't even because it's a it's a mom. The image in the front, I don't know if you guys see that. It's supposed to represent mother and daughter. That's not a bad Mother's Day gift. This fragrance it smells absolutely divine. It smells beautiful in the dry down. The opening is good but it's very very sharp. It's very strong. Ooh. I'm thinking about, I'm like, do I want to spray one so I can get it again and describe? I don't even need to do it. Oh, no, I don't need to spray it. Like, if you just bring it close enough to your nose, you can smell it. This fragrance is not for children. It's actually floral. A woody white floral. For the price, you have to have this in your collection. If you're like me and you like, you're like one of those people where like, even if you're like six to seven feet away, you want people to smell you. This is gonna be one of the fragrances, and you do not need a lot of it. Like I said, it's not it's not for the faint-hearted. This fragrance is not for the faint-hearted. So the next fragrance I have, guys, is Paris Oud from the House of Afnon. This fragrance I haven't heard anybody talk about. Um, this was also a random buy for me, but I think I it was I got it for like thirty seven dollars. Like the name says, it has oud in it, but it's also floral. It's also sweet. Yeah, this is it's a warm scent though. It's spicy, it's woody. Those of you who like your oud perfumes, this is definitely one that's affordable for you to try. Like I said, it was $30 something dollars. I feel like I'll probably wear this like maybe like end of summer into fall. That's the best time that I will probably wear it. So the next way. fragrance I have is a recent buy. And I actually got this fragrance through one of my subscribers. I think her name is Alicia. Thank you, I appreciate it. I tried your recommendations and I love it. I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it's gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful floral fragrance. It is perfect for spring. I got this for, I think I got it for like 30 something dollars. But then again, this is the smaller size. This is the 1.7. But if you're starting out and you want that sweet floral fragrance to add to your collection, this is definitely, oh my goodness. And this, this is actually what I have on today. And projection within the first couple hours is awesome. Longevity, I feel it lasts really well. Uh, after a couple of hours, it will dry down to a skin scent, but like when I raise, I can still smell it. This is what I have on today. It is just such a pretty, pretty gorgeous. I absolutely love this fragrance. I feel like it smells amazing. Like, whoo! This fragrance smells, I hate that sound though. What the heck is that? Other than that annoying sound, this is a very pretty scent. It's, it's a citrus scent, it's a woody scent, you get patchouli, it has amber, rose, it's warm, spicy, and it has vanilla. I absolutely, absolutely love. I love this fragrance. The next scent that I have that is really affordable and it's just an amazing scent and a compliment getter. It's the Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud. 
which is very, very popular in the fragrance community. A lot of people know about this fragrance. This is oud and this is sweet. This scent is just a very powerful, attention-grabbing scent. This scent will call people to you. If you're one of those people who you don't like people talking to you in public that you don't know, don't buy this perfume. Don't wear this perfume. If you like attention, buy this perfume. That's just the best way I can describe it. If you like attention, buy this perfume. You will have people run into you, asking you what that is. It's oud, but it's such a delightful oud. If I could use two words for this fragrance, attention, grabbing, compliment, getter, people, pleaser. To me, this is a perfect all round, all year fragrance. I feel like you can wear this all year and it would just be awesome. That's just to me, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the last affordable scent that I have for you guys today is none other than Godia Roman Night from Bulgari. And guys, this fragrance, whoo, is affordable, right? But it smells so expensive. It smells like, whoo, you see that? This is class. This, mm, this fragrance smells so classy. This fragrance just smells like money. Whew, it's deep. It's a woody floral fragrance. And that woodiness is like, I feel like the fragrances that I feel like when I say like they're dark or deep is usually like fragrances that have like, you know, like um, a lot more darker notes to them. But this fragrance, oh, I never even noticed it says Bulgari like when you take the cap off right there. This fragrance is just so sophisticated. I adore this fragrance. I'm definitely getting the bigger bottle as soon as I run out of this one. It is just, I don't know how to describe it. This fragrance, you know what you're doing with this fragrance. That's all I'm saying. As a human adult, you know what you were doing with this fragrance. This fragrance is just, it takes you to a whole other level. I'm surprised that it is the price that it is because I think I paid around 40 something dollars for this fragrance. Uh, and this is the 1.7 ounce. Uh, so I definitely will be getting the bigger size. I will highly recommend this fragrance. I feel like this is a great, if you're starting out, you need this in your clothes. If you're starting out and you like fragrances that make you smell sophisticated, luxurious, rich, just like money vibes, money vibes. If you like great smelling perfume, this is a very, 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 very great recommendation. So guys, that brings us to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, uh, let me know if you do decide to go out and get any of these scents. Let me know if you have any of them, if you love them, if you hate them. What do you think about them? Please let me know down in the comment section. If you have any of these perfumes or if there's anything on here that you want me to talk more about, let me know your recommendations. What perfume do you guys think is underrated? Which perfume did you just discover along the wayside that you feel like no one talks about? and is a must have let me know and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe i appreciate you guys and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye